Hey everybody, it's Michael from MobileBurn.com and I'm at the 2012 edition of the Google I.O. Developer Event. Just went through my swag bag and uh, pulled out the Nexus 7. So we're going to go through a somewhat difficult to do unboxing since I don't have a tripod with me. But I'm going to try to show you some of the features of the device. Okay, so I've opened up the box here. This is the tablet itself. Uh, see, this one happens to be white. The ones they showed in the video during the presentation had a um, kind of a brown-gray back. It's about the size of a Kindle Fire or um, maybe one of Samsung's uh, Galaxy Tab 7, Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 devices. I uh, have one of those at home, though it definitely feels thicker. I uh, don't have the exact spec specs in front of me, so I'm just going to kind of wing this and uh, we're going to power it up and uh, take a look at it. So let's take a look at the hardware. You can see um, reasonably thin device. It has kind of a kind of a soft touch uh, feel to it, but not really. Dimpled like a golf ball, especially since it's a white. You can see the uh, ASUS uh, logo down the bottom, Nexus up here. On the right hand edge, uh, power and volume controls. Not too much to see on the left hand edge, except uh, what appear to be dock connectors and probably a secondary microphone, maybe the primary. 3.5mm headphone jack and a micro USB on the bottom. And another microphone pinhole up here on the top. There uh, does not appear to be any kind of um, direct HDMI port, but uh, like you would find on uh, some of the higher end tablets, but for the price, that's uh, not too much of a surprise. Display's resolution is uh, 1280 by 800 pixels, so uh, capable of 720p video. Powered by an NVIDIA uh, Tiger 3 processor, so the Kai version, um, the lower cost uh, Tiger 3 quad core processor pretty slick. So uh, the first device to hit the market with that that I'm aware of. And here's the new Android 4.1 Jelly Bean startup sequence. And the device is uh, already powered up. Really didn't take all that much time at all. Okay, I went through the setup procedure, uh, put in my test Google account, and uh, let's take a look at the device. So here's the main uh, home screen. Looks very much like a uh, regular Android 4.0 phone, just stretched out a bit. See um, more shortcuts across the bottom. The app tray or main menu looks very much like uh, ice cream sandwich. Same basic organization and transitions in the uh, menus. See, we've got the soft keys, on-screen soft keys for back, home, and the uh, task switcher. So let's uh, just load up an application, pull up a folder, load Chrome. Chrome is now the default browser. It's uh, officially out of beta. And now we can hit the task switcher, and you can see we can uh, switch between applications. Google's uh, Play Books, the new magazine application. Now we can see things in uh, Task Switcher. Take a look at the uh, Esquire issue here. Uh, actually, looks like you can see it's uh, transferring. If you look down here in the corner, you can see that pie chart slowly growing as it downloads. Now I'm not on the uh, hotel Wi-Fi. This is actually using uh, Verizon's LTE network uh, through a Wi-Fi hotspot to get data. So see it's going to take a little bit of time. So let's uh, jump back and do something else instead. Um, pull up the books. I don't know if they're preloaded or not. Either way the books should download pretty quickly. So here's the Nexus 7 guidebook. You see the cool page flipping transitions. Nothing uh, we haven't seen before though. There's no pinch gesture support. Let's see if uh, any interesting notifications. Nope. No cool notifications because you can use uh, two finger gestures to expand 
the notifications, uh, some of the new high-end notifications, they have a lot more functionality like, you know, say Gmail, you can see the inbox and the what messages are actually there and take a look at the subjects uh, right from the notification area, which is pretty cool. Okay, now that the uh, issue of Esquire has uh, downloaded, I'm going to show you how it works. Obviously, you can uh, zoom in around. Tap on the screen to uh, bring up some controls. You can see the pages visually here, or you can tap here for the table of contents. Um, just tap on one of the stories, and it'll bring it right up. You can also uh, page through this way. See if we got a intelligent zooming. There you go. Let's go uh, back to the uh, main application and take a look at the uh, popular science. See, there's a text mode here. You can uh, view things purely in text, makes it a lot easier to read rather than the uh, graphical layout. This is called the page mode, is the standard mode here. So, pretty cool looking up. Okay, you can see up top we've got a couple of notifications. Uh, also, notice that the notification area does not fill the entire display um, on the device. Just a uh, basically a pull down curtain. Um, I've only got a few notifications here, so they're automatically expanded. You can see that it's uh, listing the individual messages that have come in. Uh, I actually have Gmail set up in the Gmail client and uh, the stock email client just to get some additional notifications here. So you can see how it lists both new messages for both email system, which is pretty slick. So it makes it a lot easier to, to see what you're dealing with here. And of course, you still tap through to get to the application as normal. One thing I'm a little bit surprised at is that uh, the device seems to only want to function in portrait mode. Uh, there's a control in the notification area. You might see it here. It looks like it's a rotation lock, but uh, that does not seem to have much of an impact on anything. It seems that like Google wants you to be using this in portrait orientation. Okay, let's take a look at some of the features of the home screen. Notice I've got this uh, home screen panel with uh, four randomly placed uh, shortcuts. So I'm going to show you how how. 4.1 can organize things a little bit better. I'm going to move over and look what it does to the shortcuts. It makes it a lot easier to uh, fit things in. And if there's not enough room, it'll actually resize when it's possible for the widget. Additionally, you can uh, throw widgets off the screen now when you don't need them anymore instead of having to drag them all the way up top. So here's the new Google Plus application. You can see it's scrolling up and down here. Let's see if we can go into landscape orientation and get the side to side scrolling which is pretty cool everything looks pretty nice drop down change sections go to our our circles and here is the currents application so, Take a look at this. You can see the reading here. Go back. Let's jump into Daily Beast. Uh, pick a random story. There you go. Pretty cool looking. Okay, so here's the Chrome browser. Take a look at this. You can see uh, we've got tabs across the top. It syncs in with uh, Chrome on the desktop and other devices, so you can uh, you know, share bookmarks, uh, even see what other tabs are open on your other devices, which is very cool, very handy. Uh, easy to open up new tabs. Menu here. You can request the uh, desktop site. Um, very nice browser. I've been using the beta on uh, various uh, Android 4 uh, ice cream sandwich devices for quite some time now, and it's a, it's a really fantastic browser. One of the things worth pointing out in the browser, though, is it does not appear to support Flash. I even went through and installed the Flash plugin in the uh, Play Store. You 
see it right here. It's definitely open, but even when you hit open here, you cannot get to the settings. And of course, when you're on the browser page here, um, it's still showing that it needs a plugin. So there's no flash support in uh, the Chrome browser. Another thing I want to point out is while there is a forward facing camera on the uh, Nexus 7 here, you can see it up there at the top, um, there's no camera application. So uh, you can conceivably use it for uh, Hangouts, of course, but there's no ability to just take pictures of yourself, which I think is uh, kind of an odd restriction. If you're going to have a camera in there, you should at least let people take pictures with it. Um, somehow Google's trying to uh, make it only for video chatting. So that's my first blush look at the uh, Google Nexus 7 tablet by Asus. Uh, gonna have to spend some time playing around with it and uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean to really see how it all works and I'll give you a more in-depth video uh, after I've done so. But uh, this is the best I can do right now from the Google I.O. event. So again, the uh, Google Nexus 7 for MobileBurn.com. I'm Michael Oral. Thanks for watching.